Welcome to part 3 of my series on uh, making an um, electronics board and in this series I just tried to figure out how to add fume extraction to the board. The first thing I've done was just to pick up all the fans that I could find lying about, set them up together, power them uh, one by one, taking a look at their power consumptions, uh, plugging them and then testing them with uh, multiple sources of fumes. Uh, the first source of fume I've tried to use was one of those vapor thingies that you smoke and uh, it was absolutely rubbish so I then moved on to actually burning real things. Uh, I had some uh, paper lying about that was greasy from a previous working on the car which I've decided to burn which would create quite a lot of fumes and as you can see there is a fair amount of fume. So then I started to experiment with multiple different positions, multiple different fans and uh, how would the fume be extracted. So trying to figure out what was the best position to have a fan that would be the most efficient in order to extract fumes while I was working in the area that I expected to be doing my soldering. So after that I have uh, started figuring out how to put together the wood planks in order to fit this fan in the correct place. So as you can see I was just screwing the fan into a wood plank and then experimenting by hand where would I want to hinge it, uh, what kind of spacing would I need between the hinge position and the floor or, or the board in this case. And um, I just test, test, test drove it using a single screw screwing between two planks and seeing if the hinge position would work or not. I was fairly pleased with that and I had a good idea of what, what kind of cuts I needed to do in order to get the result I wanted. So as you can see uh, there was plenty of experimentation and then um, cutting down pieces of wood just to, to the correct size or to closer and closer sizes to what I needed. And then I went through pretty much all of my stock of fasteners trying to figure out what the correct type of fastener or what would be the most suitable type of fastener to use to, to make a hinge. And I've decided to just use an M6 bolt with a wing nut at the end and then a washer. I've added the washer off camera but uh, it is implemented in the end. So once I had all of the cuts in the more or less correct size I then started straightening them all out using my jig and finally started taking measurements and uh, figuring out exactly where to drill the holes or the guide holes for the hinge for my bolt to be used as a hinge. And here is the bolt in place with the two pieces of supporting wood to hinge. Once I was happy with the position, I flipped the board around, drawn where this would be collected, and then just screwed a couple of long screws in order to keep the two pieces of wood together. And the, there it is now. In place so now I can hinge it and such. So the next thing to do was just to grab my staple gun and just staple the wiring, route it correctly and then fit the switch. Uh, the switch was a bit of a tricky thing to do because I wanted to fit it as nicely as possible even though it will look rubbish so I had to remove one of the contacts from there and desolder it. After I desoldered it I just wired everything to it, tested it a couple of times and then I've screwed it into the supporting board as you can see from the video. So then I gave it a couple of runs and then I started burning a bit more of oiled paper just to see if it would work and uh, I was pretty happy with the end result as it was. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon with the next stage on this project. And as usual, if you have any ideas on how to augment this, uh, just drop them in the comments and maybe I'll come back with um, adding some of your ideas to it.